Alright, kids. I'm about to scare you fuckers. Actually, let me reset the emulations. The music starts all over. Holy shit. Um, this is an old Nintendo game that, uh, I own, uh, called, uh, Taboo the Sixth Sense. Uh, it was developed in, uh, 1988 by Rare. You can see their name at the bottom of the screen. They've developed a whole bunch of other games. Killer Instinct, Wizards and Warriors, uh, Blast Core, I think, and some others, uh, uh, was pub this game was, uh, released in 1988, like I said, um, maybe it was in 89, whatever. Um, the, the purpose of this game is, uh, it's actually like a, it's really a no game. It offers, like, a tarot reading of sorts, uh, and the, uh, the card dealer is the, uh, the, the game itself. Uh, this is a, uh, pretty rare Nintendo game in that, uh, it, uh, contains, uh, stuff that Nintendo usually doesn't allow. References to the cult, basically tarot, tarot cards. Uh, the tarot cards have depictions on them that are not associated with Nintendo anymore. And Nintendo actually warns uh, in the game manual that this is not a game intended for children. Um, this, this game scared the shit out of me whenever I was a kid. And it actually shows on me right now. I am... I'm in my 20s now. And, uh... My, uh, my eyes water whenever I play this game, and I get goosebumps and chills because of how terrified I was of this game whenever I was a kid. Whenever this game has its own little black cloth, and the book, uh, the little instruction manual, tells of the story and history of the game and everything. It's pretty creepy. So this is the time machine of Nintendo, and this will simulate a tarot card reading. So let's get a tarot card reading. Now, first thing we have here is to enter our name, our birth date, and our sex. Since I don't want to reveal any details to you children, shh, I'm actually going to pause the recording. You can put your own name in here. Besides, if I really told you my birth date, I mean, the game has difficulty simulating 4,000 years. <laughs> so, we'll be back. There we go. That information entered. Uh, Taboo now asks us to enter our question. That will be uh, queried by the tarot cards. I don't understand the history of the tarot. I cannot give you a detailed background of all the cards that we're going to see. So don't ask me questions regarding that. Just take this as you will, entertainment purposes only. So uh, my question shall be uh, a pretty fun one, I think. Will I rub? Not rub. <laughs> Backspace. Get on with it. Questions were asked. Um, boyfriends and girlfriends, uh, my brother and girls who like my brother. And uh, actually, my brother and my brother's wife played this. Uh, asked Taboo what they thought of their what he thought of his marriage. Uh, Taboo did not approve of the marriage. <laughs> actually, showed the devil card. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have a storied uh, history of background with uh, my family members. So my question for Taboo will be, will I get on with it tomorrow? That's a fair question. Although, uh, technically it's uh, Tuesday right now, or in the AMs. Oh well, maybe I'll get on with it Wednesday. We'll see. Now at this point, you can uh, apparently press the D-pad on your controller to influence the shuffling of the cards. This music is fucking creepy. 8-bit music is so awesome whenever it comes to creeping me out. It truly is. Um, it has a factor upon me which I can't describe. I mean, these are the game. I, I, I played Nintendo games growing up and terrified the fucking shit out of me. And, uh, if you watch my latest Aerobiz video, the one where uh, Doom is approaching, uh, Koei's pretty nice about the whole game over thing. And they just uh, flash you to that uh, Koei screen, but uh, my imagination works. Significator. Currently your situation is expectancy of advancement. Why yes, I'd like to get on with it and advance further in my career. As a matter of fact, I would, I would enjoy getting paid to do this. Thank you very much. <laughs> your immediate influence has lasted success. Why yes, 
I've gotten on with it with a lot within the past 24 hours. And I've done a damn good job. Heroes of Might and Magic 2, Super Mario Kart, not so much Aerobiz. Daggerfall, though, that's definitely good. Let's do this. You, you want to know more about the significance of these cards, you'll have to look them up on your own. Attainable at this time is unable to adapt to new project. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes th th these uh, these descriptions uh, are so fun to read because I look at the game and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I've known about this game for 20 years. <laughs> it's like, Ugh. so for 20 years this fucking game has confused me. Uh, I enjoy this thing though. It's cool. Except whenever it really, until it really pulls out, like, uh, one, one of, one, like, one in every, like, a hundred times, like, just like with a, a horoscope reading or what have you, uh, the game will pull out something that your brain will just, just make work and it'll be like, holy shit. Card is reversed. Present events are based on effort maintained until success is achieved. So, uh, I, I keep trying until I achieve success, and then I stop. That sounds about right. I mean, there's no point in me getting on with it after I already got on with it, right? Get on with it! <laughs> Let's carry on with it. Previous influences exerting pressure are striving to meet a goal, or... Yes. Yes. I, I continue to desire to bring the best in getting on with it features. Like this. I'm just... I'm just having funsies. <laughs> That's all. And I like to maintain my present position of having funsies. Did you know that some of you out there actually consider me your favorite Let's Player? I don't understand that. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> Go to some other channel. Some other channel which does not have grim sanity and grim rage and getting on with it. They'll just play games. They're nice and peaceful and wonderful and rainbow kittens. The near forthcoming influence is strength and triumph over trouble or emotions. Hell yes. I will, uh, you'll, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, I'm sniffling because uh, my whole body, like uh, with certain parts of these music, uh, uh, the, the, these suits, like the swords and the coins and the stabs, those aren't bad. But some of the other tracks, like the, uh, the title track, really get me and they make me tense up these old games I'm actually gonna have to showcase a few of them uh, you actually get to hear me um, I wouldn't say break down but uh, I, I really so, some of these endings man game over screens kinda like that your influence within surrounding circumstances are time to condition oneself for future what? <laughs> Course it up. The effect is to totally backfires whenever you're staring at the the monitor. Uh, I actually have my light on in my room, although I could have turned it off. I didn't think of it. That definitely would have made this shit creepier, though. <laughs> Imagine that, if you will. Say you're five or six years old. You sneak this game out of where it's being kept because you're not supposed to play this because your parents forbid it. Uh, you put this in the Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, you blow on the cartridge a few times, you wiggle it around just to make sure it works, you plug it in, you're in your room all alone, pitch black, 3 a.m., nothing but the black TV screen in front of you, with that little, uh, D-pad in your hands, and you query the time machine of Nintendo. Ha. <laughs> can have a creepy influence. I've, I've learned a few, uh, few words. So, as for the meaning of this, you folks, could you translate that for me? Could you could you pull your I'm from the internet minds together and make that work out for me? Could you tell me my future? Could you be my my soothsayers? Could you inform me of the Ides of March? I don't know. Hopefully you know. Your tendencies as viewed by others are defeat. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. <laughs> that that was that was that was, <laughs> that is awesome. I approve of you, and I love you forever, Taboo, the time machine of Nintendo. <laughs> I can't stop giggling over that. So, children, <laughs> do you view my tendencies as defeat or destruction of others? Hmm? Inform me. Give me your feedback. It's important. Glad we had this, this talk. Your secret fears or wants are a time of happiness. So I could either fear a time of happiness or want a time of happiness. <laughs> That's difficult. I'm not sure about that one either. The final card which will reveal the future. The conclusion of the issue is criticism or... Criticism? Cool. I know what I'll do. I'll disable comments for all of my videos. The way you assholes can't criticize me anymore. Haha. -ha. So, uh, sometimes the, uh, the results are a bit, uh, you know, iffy. Like, it's, you know, you know, when you shake a magic eight ball, you ask it a question, it's like, mm, it's unclear. Try again later. Maybe it's a bad day for Taboo. And, uh, the, the instruction manual, keeping with the whole mystique, advises, you know, to make sure you keep uh, the, the game wrapped in its black velvet cloth that comes special with it. So, here's a fun bit. It'll give you fortune numbers. Yeah, you heard me. Fortune numbers. Ah, uh, we'll go with Ohio. Let's say... I want... We want a bunch of numbers here. And we want a high range. 0 to 99 works. I want one number. What should I do? Taboo. 14 is your lucky number. It's my lucky number. Huzzah. Now I know what to gamble on. All that has been and all that will be is here for you to know. Dare you glimpse the future? Dare you even ask? Taboo, the time machine of Nintendo. So we're going to ask Taboo one more question. Then we're going to leave it alone for the morning. Because uh, I'm having fun and I want to see if I can uh, incite some of the other more fiendish cards to make their appearance. So uh, allow me a brief respite, a pause here as I enter in the relevant data for the game. And then we will uh, get on with answering the question. Hmm. Not sure what to ask Taboo. Will they ever try to over throw me? That works. I like that. Keeping in with my mystique, you know, as Grimoth, god of getting on with it. For that is my realm. I, I did bestow priestly spells upon folks in the realm of getting on with it. Don't ask exactly what that sphere entails. I don't know what the cleric bonus is regarding that. Rest assured, though, uh, my favorite weapon is a scythe. I'm not going to influence it. Let it shuffle as it wishes. Who am I? Other than Grimoth, naturally. I'm the Knight of Coins. This is true. I concur with your statement. <sighs> Come on, let's see some... Actually, I'm a little bit tentative about wishing for creepy shit. Not gonna lie. Of course, you know, since I'm asking uh, relatively absurd questions as opposed to legitimately serious ones, it's not gonna be that bad. But if you really ask it a secret question, uh, a serious question, like... Should I, uh, <laughs> is our marriage a good idea? To use that earlier example of revolving my brother. Revolving, involving. Your present position is the birth of a child or idea. The idea that somebody may overthrow me? 
is gone. They'll depose me for some other person who gets on with it better than I do, which does not exist, rest assured. <laughs> there we go. I was a little worried whenever the music paused. Now imagine listening to that. Uh... I tell you, this 8-bit shit creeps me out more than anything else. Even I get creeped out. It's amazing. I guess it's just because of all the memories and nostalgia. Like why I like Daggerfall more than Morrowind, and why I like Heroes of Might and Magic 2 more than 3. Just everything that's connected to my childhood, so whenever I got scared so many much of Game Overs and everything... I had a lot of bad nightmares whenever I was a kid. Your immediate influence is subjected to violence, bondage, or self destruction Holy shit. <laughs> well, I am known to be violent in my getting on with <laughs> excursions, and uh, self-destruction tends to happen. <laughs> like whenever I charged all those dwarfs by the side of the road. Oh man, that was a bad idea. Fucking horde of battle dwarves that I didn't even notice. Okay, I, I, I gotta change that. It's creepy. Let's go to a different card here. Oh! Attainable at this time is a feminine influence. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I offer more than bingo and daggerfall. If you're looking. <laughs> I'll tone down the creepiness factor in bed, I promise. <laughs> or, you know, kitchen counter. Where... <laughs> Next card! <laughs> Distant past foundation is childhood dreams may seem impossible or to have vanished. Well, fuck you too, game! Damn! I, I, it's not like, you know, I, I fear that I will not may be able to maintain my deity status at all. Dick. Well, let's continue here. What's our next card? This card is reversed. Recent past events are unrealistic and wasteful or inability. What, what does that mean? Unrealistic and wasteful. So, you're trying to tell me, game, that my attempts to assert my dominance on YouTube through uploading more Let's Get On With It videos doesn't matter in the end. Well, fuck you, Time Machine of Nintendo. I have viewers. They care. You. You're not the boss of me. It doesn't matter if I'm all alone here talking to myself right now. Well, at you. The spirit that inhabits this fucking game? Ah! That was me uh, giving my game the middle finger. The near forthcoming influence of successful negotiations? <laughs> Are we gonna have a compromise or very own Magna Carta? <laughs> You're not going to overthrow me. In exchange, I'll give you this and this and this and this and this and this. <laughs> fun times, folks, fun times. You, in a proper perspective, are an achievement or appreciation of small favors. Have an achievement or appreciation? Hmm. In a proper perspective as opposed to an improper perspective. Hmm. I do have an appreciation of small favors. Yes. I appreciate small favors bestowed upon me, known as sacrifices, to ensure that I do not slay all of you. That seems reasonable enough, right? This is my intellect and creativity interpreting the words of Taboo the Time Machine of Nintendo to fit my own needs. Or fears. Now how do you all see me? Others view you as awaiting or expecting trouble or change. It's true. That's why I asked you this question. I mean... These fuckers might try to depose me. They might try to usurp my throne. And become lords of getting on with it. But there can be only one law. Only I am fit for the mantle of rulership. Only I am capable of such bullshit that doesn't even fucking begin to make sense. Rest assured, game. I. Oh my 
all the keys. What's up next? Your anxieties and desires are a discreet spy or expert nego- What? <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? Reveal your secrets to me, Taboo! <laughs> uh, discreet spy. I, so I am anxious and yet I desire a discreet spy or expert negotiator to broker the successful negotiations in order to maintain my mantle of getting on with it -ness things. You're... You're, you're not making sense. You're, you're not making dollars. You, you're actually losing me money here. I... Okay. Final card. What shall you reveal to me, Taboo? Culmination of the event revealed before will be a period of disappointment. You know what I'm disappointed in? I understand. The period will be a short length of time in which I am disappointed in this game for getting it wrong. <laughs> I am lord of getting on with it. God of getting on with it. Deity of getting on with it. Ruler of getting on with it. Master of getting on with it. I get on with it all the time. Fuck you. Do 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 Reminds me of fucking Carney music. I have an uncle who used to work in the Carney. I know all about Carney power and marks. That shit's like that shit's scary, children. Do not fuck with them. They know more than you ever will. At least when it comes to that business. Do do not attempt to tell them their job. Let's go to Ohio. I did all that adjusting for nothing. Let's get a bunch of more numbers. A bunch of more. 14, though? Not quite on there again. Oh, well. Alright, folks. That's enough invoking uh, Taboo the Sixth Sense for me. Uh, thank you for watching my, uh, my confirmation of Awesome Sauce. Uh, hopefully, I will continue to bring uh, future getting on with it adventures to all of you. Hopefully you will continue to comment and uh, recognize my awesomeness and uh, hopefully I... Hopefully that skull will stop flickering its red eyes on me. Maybe I'll actually showcase more of these uh, terrifying games for me. Games which uh, frightened me in my childhood and uh, ones I can share with all of you so you can appreciate the fact that even I too have fears. <laughs> Uh, see, that was just like a touching, sentimental moment we had there, wasn't it? Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Alright, kids. See you next time.